Hi guys. So the time has finally come. Are you ready? Do you have the psychological fortitude to witness the depths of planar depravity that are about to unfold before your eyes? Have you ever wondered just how many planners one person could own? If so, then stay tuned because I am about to show you my entire planner collection. Don't judge me. All right, so we'll start off with the bound planners. So there are several different categories here and sometimes there's going to be a bit of overlap, but these are the bound planners that I'm currently using and so they are in planner covers because planner covers are going to be a separate category. So first up we have the Hobonichi A6, the original, and this is in the sack cover in light blue. So the sack cover is the silicone cover that is available on the Hobonichi website, and I really, really love it. The A6 comes in light blue and watermelon. It's this very nice, supple, flexible, bendy silicone cover. It's made entirely out of like, I think it's two pieces of silicone as far as I can tell, and it's very sleek and simple. It just has this one bookmark and one credit card slot, and it has this one slot for a pen clip, and then it has a bookmark and this stretchy uh, closure band, which is kind of annoying. I'd say that's the only minor irritation about this cover, but it's a great cover, really, really durable, very easy to clean. And I've been keeping my A6 in this. This is actually the Avec. So a lot of you have probably seen this already. I'm using this as my daily planner, just on a kind of as in when I need it basis. So I'm not going to spend too long on any of these because we have a lot of planners to get through. But if you'd like to know anything more about any of these specifically, I have got a review on the SAC cover and also on the A6 2016 the Avec version, so you can find those on my channel. That was the first one. Then moving on, we've got my Hobonichi Weeks, which is my personal planner, and I love, love, love this planner. This is one of my two favorites, the other one being the cousin that's coming next. This is a Pilot Decimo fountain pen, which I also very, very much love. And it's inside a Love by Gabby traveler's notebook which is in the perfect size to fit the weeks and again all of these have got separate reviews on them if you're interested in knowing any more about them so this is a vegan leather faux leather traveler's notebook and it's a size that I, I don't know what it's called somebody suggested that they thought it looked like a b6 slim which is interesting it's it's certainly, it's kind of right between standard size traveler's notebook and personal size, which makes it exactly the right size to fit the weeks. And if you see any of my other videos, you know all about the weeks and how much I love the weeks. So I've got tons of week, weeks videos. So moving on from there to my other absolute favorite planner. This is the Hobonichi Cousin. And this is the spring version and I use this as my work planner and it's inside a Love by Gabby Hobonichi cover. So this isn't actually Hobonichi brand because Hobon Hobonichi doesn't make vegan leather covers. And this one is it's just perfect. It's purple, which is my favorite color, and it's vegan, and it's absolutely identical to a Hobonichi cover in almost every respect, except that it doesn't have the label on it and the bookmark material is slightly different. But other than that, it's identical. And I also got these from the Etsy shop Love by Gabby, which I'll link below because a few of my hard to find planner things like this traveler's notebook cover come from there. So that is the Hobonichi cousin. And then moving on, we will go into our first category, which seems to be the one that kind of segues best from the bound planners, and that is planner and notebook covers. So obviously these covers are all covers that can be used with bound planners. By the way, I decided when I was trying to work out the criteria for what to show in this video, I want to show you everything, but I'm not including notebooks because I also have some blank notebooks that don't have dates. So I decided that in order to be eligible for inclusion in this video, um, the item in question would have to be either a planner with dates, you know, as in inserts or a bound planner, or it would have to be some kind of cover like a ring binder or a disc bound binder or one of these covers 
or Traveler's Notebook. <laughs> um, I, I'll do a separate video on my notebooks just to give you an overview of the blank notebooks that I've got and the ones that are partially used. So this is, well, these two are Core Core Travel Wallets. So these aren't actually designed as planner covers, but they also fit the weeks perfectly. And I was using one of these as my weeks cover before I then moved on to other weeks covers. So you can see it just opens, it's very simple. It doesn't have a closure, which is kind of the only thing I wish was different about it. If I were craftier, then I would try, you know, putting a rivet in here and then making an elastic closure for it like a traveler's notebook, but I'm afraid to do that because I don't want to destroy it. But on the inside, it has a ton of credit card pockets, which is great either for use as a wallet or if you want to put stickers and washi samples and stuff like that in it. And then it has all of these full length pockets, which is fantastic. And just to illustrate how much I love it, I'm currently using the other one. So it comes in like a dark brown and a light brown. I will just take that out. So I'm using the light brown one as a cover for this traveler's notebook insert, which I'm using as a home planner. It doesn't have a pen loop, that's the only other thing about it. So I made this pen loop out of a Leuchtturm pen loop stuck onto a magic card and it just slots perfectly in here and it works. So that's the Corco Travel Wallet. So this will fit any kind of personal size insert. This is a personal size insert and obviously it's a little bit bigger so it will also fit the weeks. But I, I think it looks good with the personal size. Sadly, it doesn't really fit the A6 very well. So it, it wouldn't work with this because this is a little bit, well, you could probably get it in, but I don't think it would be ideal because you can see that the A6 is a bit smaller than the personal size insert. So I think it, it, it would, well, it would annoy me because it would be too small, but it works really well for personal size. So that's that. Then we have the Filofax Safiano Compact Zip. This is actually a ring bound planner, but I have included it in this section because the rings are removable and because I knew that I didn't want the rings for this, I bought this as a week's cover. So this is what I was using for my weeks um, in between this and the current Traveler's Notebook cover. So this is also the perfect size for the weeks. And the ring mechanism and the inserts are completely removable. You don't have to hack it or anything. You just pull it out. It's absolutely amazing. And so I, I haven't kept the rings because I knew that I didn't want them. And then this is also really good as a wallet because it has all of these pockets. It has huge amounts of pockets and it also has a zip compartment and it's just very, very good as a wallet. Like look at all of these pockets. And it also has a pen loop and the zip. So I'm not using this for anything at the moment because I, but I'm keeping it because I really like it and I have a feeling that there will be a use for it sometime in the future. Then we have another Hobonichi cover. This is the same one as the purple one that I just showed you before. And this is just, it's an extra in aqua. And this was actually a rack from my uh, friend in Finland. So thank you very much if you're watching. I love it. And I'm not using this right now because I'm using the purple one, but I really like knowing that I have this here so that I can switch back and forth between the two of them. And you can see here, I didn't really go into detail on the other one that's in use, but you can see that it has the exact same pocket configuration as the Hobonichis, if you're familiar with them. And if you're not familiar with them, then this will familiarize you. This is an actual certified Hobonichi cover. I'm not sure if you can see there, but it says Hobonichi 2015. And this isn't their basic nylon range. This is one of the special editions that change from year to year. So this is made out of cloth. It's a cotton, like a cotton woven cover, and it has this really nice pattern on it. And the insides are faux leather and this is like a nylon some kind of fabric and you can see that it's got exactly the same kind of pockets as this one does so that is and both of both of these are a5 hobonichi covers just like the purple one and then this is my final hobonichi cover and this is another sack cover so just like the light blue one which only comes in a6 in A5, you get this navy one, 
and there are a couple of other colors too. I think there's a lime, like lime yellow or lemon green. It has some kind of funny name, but it's like a kind of lime green sort of color. And this is exactly the same as this one, except that it's A5. And for some reason, a gigantic dust mag magnet, much more than this one. And I don't understand why. I don't know if it's, if it's something to do with like the color that it's different or what, but that's a, an odd thing, but it's a really cool cover. So this tower of planners is starting to get very wobbly. Okay, so <laughs> we're almost done with the notebook cover section. This is an A5 Filofax Flex. And this was, as I've mentioned before in other videos, this was like my first gateway into the planner world. It was actually a purple one. That was my first introduction. I've got the purple one as well, but I'm, I'm just showing you the black one as a representative because they're identical. They're very similar to the Hobonichi covers, except that they don't have the pen loops on the outside. They have this removable pen loop and the pockets aren't as awesome, but it does have quite a lot of pockets, but they're mostly slit pockets, which I don't like as much. And this is the only one that's nicely finished off. But the cool thing is that it has this opening here and here. So you can put notebooks in, in all different directions. You could put a notebook in as I've done here. This is my dream journal. Or you could put one here and then you could put another one there, or you could put one like kind of this way going in and it, it's cool. So you could get a whole elaborate constellation of notebooks going on and you can also move the pen loop. So it's on this piece of cardstock and you can just put it here or you could put it here if you'd rather have it on this side or if you've got two notebooks on the inside, then you can actually put it between them so that the pen loop is there and when you close it, there's nothing on the outside, which I quite like, but you have to have two different notebooks on the inside to be able to do that. The other thing about this is that it doesn't have a closure at all, which I think is kind of funny when we're, I think we're used to in the planner community, ring binders always have a closure and traveler's notebooks always have a closure and the Hobonichi covers, even if you don't use them like that, they have this double pen loop thing, which is also designed to function as a kind of clasp if you put a pen in both of the the pen loops. So yeah, this is like the travel wallets in that it, it doesn't have any kind of closure and you'd have to hack it if you wanted to, if you wanted to be able to close it. Speaking of hacking, this is my one and only attempt at a serious planner DIY project and I'm very proud of it. This is an A5 Filofax Domino, the Aubergine Spots design. So it's a patent faux leather and if you open it up you can see that the rings are gone. So I took out the ring mechanism which was not actually that hard, you just need a drill and a bit of patience. but. It was not an experience that I would want to repeat. I was happy when it was done and I didn't really feel like I wanted to do it again because it, it was kind of a pain if you're just not crafty. It's not really difficult, but it takes a little bit of time and it, it's kind of, I found it mildly stressful. Anyway, so the finished product looks exactly the same except that it doesn't have the rings and I just put these jeans buttons on here to close the holes. And I love this because this, will fit any A5 notebook or slightly bigger size. So it's not in use at the moment, but it's there if I need another notebook cover. So that's the end of the notebook covers. Next, on to the ring binders. So let's start with pocket size. We'll go by size and by brand. So first up, we have my one and only pocket ring binder. This is a Filofax Domino Pine Spots. So, so it's the same design as the Aubergine Spots, but I actually like this green color better as you'll see because I've got a few of these. So I'm using this as a home reference binder. So it's got things like recipes and just like, you know, a few different like sort of recurring tasks and stuff like that. So it's, it's not used very often, but it's nice to have when we do need it, just occasionally if we need to consult something. So the Domino, as you already saw from the A5 version, doesn't have many pockets, which I think is its really its only drawback. It's a fantastic planner. It's really durable. It's beautiful. It's easy to clean. And if you have, you know, like this kind of pocket, if you can put pockets on the rings, then you're okay. So it's, 
it is possible to get around the issue, but it doesn't have that many pockets of its own. It just has this one here and then this one here in the back and obviously the great elastic pen loop. And the thing that I really like about this one is that it's, it has this elastic closure, which is kind of like a Midori. So it has that sort of traveler's notebook look, but it's a ring planner. So that is my pocket sized. Then moving on to personal size, I've got two personal size planners. And this one is Paper Chase. And this is one of the new designs that came out this summer. So it's got this snap closure and it has a pen loop on the inside here. I did a review of this as well, by the way, if you'd like to see this in more detail. Black cloth inside, silver rings. It came with inserts, which I am not using. And it has this secretarial pocket here. It's a really nice planner. It has this very nice detail. I think paper chase planners, in my experience, don't really last as well as, say, Filofax uh, ring planners, but they have some really beautiful designs, which makes up for it. So you can see that's what it looks like. And this is also a faux leather, very smooth, like kind of slightly padded. All of these planners obviously are either vegan leather or fabric or something like that. The, the travel wallets that I showed you are made out of cork, which is really cool because they're completely natural product and, you know, they're biodegradable, but also very long lasting and waterproof. So my other personal size planner is another <laughs> Palafax Domino P Pine Spots. So those are the two personal ones. I'm using this as a sticker binder. Then getting bigger, we move on to the A5s. So first we have another Domino Pine Spots. There was a point, I believe, when these are on sale and I just somehow kept acquiring more of them. So it's kind of crazy, but you already knew that anyway. <laughs> so the other A5s, I have two Doki books. I told you not to judge me, right? Please stick by that. <laughs> so this is the Min Doki book and I've had this for quite a while. This is probably about a maybe nearly a year and a half, definitely a year and three months. And this is storing my blank inserts. So I don't actually use ring bound planners as planners. I use them for reference, which means that all of this beautiful ring binder stationery that I acquired while I had a happy scrappy subscription kit is just living in here because occasionally I do need a sheet just for something like to put something in one of the reference binders. And so I'm keeping all of these because eventually in like 50 years, I'll use them. And in the meantime, I will never have to buy any more ring binder inserts. So that's a Doki book and Doki book is a really great company. You will be seeing more of them later in the video. I highly recommend checking them out if you haven't already. And then this is another Doki book. This is uh, I think it's called Royal Purple. So it's purple on the outside and then it has oh, lots of cards there that I probably shouldn't be revealing. Um, it has like gold on the inside. So really, really nice quality, beautiful planners. And all of these, so th this one is used to store information like my cards that I don't need to take out with me, but you know, that I need to have like my national insurance card and like my passports and stuff like that are in here. All like kind of official documents. Then we have another Filofax Domino. There is just like no more room here. I'll move some of these. So this is the turquoise Domino and there's really not much else to say about it because you've already seen so many other Dominoes, but let me just say, in case you hadn't already guessed, that Domino is my favorite type of Filofax. I just really like the design. I like the look with the elastic. And I, I think I like the fact that it doesn't have a snap closure because snap closures are generally not my favorite. Although there are some that I like, as you'll see in a minute. I also really, I like the texture. I like how easy it is to clean. And I like all of the different colors that it comes in. So that's the Domino. I keep all of my bank information in that. And then my last two ring bound planners are Paper Chase. So this is one of last year's designs and I really like this one. This was actually the first ring bound planner that I ever bought. So it's kind of nostalgic and it's held up really well. I've never taken it out of the house or used it for any kind of, you know, strenuous, like I haven't, you know, slept around, put it in my bag, anything like that, but it's, it's held up really well. It has a magnetic, 
clasp, which I, I like because it's just like, you don't really have to work very hard. The one thing that I think is a shame about this is that it doesn't have a button because if it's a snap, if it's a snap closure, I would prefer it to have a button like this one, which I'll come to in a minute. So I, that's one of the reasons why I avoid the snap closures on Filofax because the, the vegan lines like the Safiano and the Metropole and Identity don't have a button and I just don't like the look as much. It's, I know that's kind of weird. I, I don't know why, but I have heard at least one of the YouTuber mention the same thing. So I know that there are at least two of us out there. Um, so yeah, that's, that's this one inside. It has silver rings. Let's see. And this is where I keep all of my information about my two dogs. So that's why it's called the furry fax. And it has this pen loop here. It's got not, the pockets are not great on it. They're kind of not really finished, but it has this cool zip compartment, which I've actually never used because I just use this for storing documents, but I like the idea of it. And the final ring planner in my collection is Jamie Nodes. And this is a really, really great planner because it looks exactly like the Malden, but it's vegan. I got this from Love by Gabby again, and it comes in three different colors. There's a black one and a brown one, which amazingly I don't have. If you could imagine, there's a planner that I don't have. So this one is just, it's, it, it looks very, very similar to the Malden. All of the, like the stitching and the design of the snap and everything. Uh, the only thing that seems different, and I've never seen the Malden in real life, but the impression is that it's very floppy and it doesn't have any kind of stiffener on the inside, whereas this one does. So that's a kind of slight difference. And I, I won't open that one because it's it's also got some, I think it has some important documents. Or No, maybe I can. That's fine. So you can see that it has this very nice array of pockets that are kind of configured in the same way as the Malden silver rings which is my preferred type of rings and then on the back it's got this pocket here and it has a pen loop which is not elasticated but that's fine with me because again I use these as reference planners so I don't actually even really need a pen in them but because I have so many pens that I'm trying to use up I just put a pen in every one and that way if for some reason I do need to write something down then I know that there's a, a pen in it so that is the end of the ring binder section. Now we come on to the traveler's notebooks. So I have acquired a good number of traveler's notebooks over the last year in a quest, an ongoing mission to find the perfect vegan leather traveler's notebook. And my quest has finally ended with one of the very first planners that I showed you, The Weeks, the personal planner, which is now buried under a giant stack of planners, so I'm afraid to try to take it back out in case they all fall down and take the tripod with them. But that is like definitely my unicorn traveler's notebook, and obviously I'm using it as a Weeks cover, so I'm, I'm not using it with multiple notebooks, because one thing that I have learned in my planner journey, as I've mentioned before, is that I think I'm not a traveler's notebook person in that I haven't been able to find a good way to use multiple inserts in a traveler's notebook, but I really like the look of them and that's why I have so many. So the first one is a Zinidori unicorn and I did a review on this not too long ago if you'd like to know more about it. So Zinidori's are a line of vegan leather, like all of these are, are vegan leather. So in fact, an alternative title for this video really should be like the ultimate guide to vegan planners because I think I have all of them. <laughs> Slight exaggeration perhaps, but not by much. So it's really floppy, it has this great texture and it has four elastics in it, which I, I really, really like in theory because even though I don't actually use traveler's notebooks, you know, with different inserts in them, I like the idea that if you were somebody who wanted to like have four different inserts in that you can be really lazy and not have to connect them together with elastic bands you can just put them each one on its own elastic and the other awesome thing about this one is that it has pockets so they're really beautiful very very nice pocket design secretarial pocket here the pen loop is separate but she sells them in her shop as well 
and it has this like little logo on the side that's her shop it's uh the shop is called simple heart so if you if you google simple heart it's a big hotel shop it will come up and then the next one is from a shop on etsy called cadeneta notebooks and i did a review on this one relatively recently as well so this is it's really really floppy which i love and it's both of these are personal size by the way and it has this pen loop which is detachable but comes with it so you can just like clip it where you want to which is cool and this one is done in the midori style so it only has the one elastic here but it has these two pockets on the inside so i really like this one as well although at the moment it's it's empty so these are all kind of sad because they they are not housing any inserts but that is my problem because i i don't really have as much use for traveler's notebooks as i have traveler's notebooks but i'm keeping these ones because i, I really like them and i particularly like the personal size i'm not sure why but you will you will see as i go through the rest of these that i don't actually have any standard size traveler's notebooks and i i have had a few in the past and i've given them all away because I realized that the size just bugs me. There's something about the size, the standard size that I don't like. So this one is also personal size and this is made by Love Doki and I got this one at Love by Gabby as well. So again, this has these nice pockets on the inside. It has four elastics and what I love about this one is that the elastics are all the same color as the notebook. That's one of my like particular criteria, if at all possible. I really like that. And it's got the secretary pocket and a pen loop and so this is just a really really nice one it comes in a few different colors as well and this one has got inserts in it because i'm keeping my cinephile in it at the moment lists of films and tv shows that we want to see although the cinephile is actually not currently active because i've switched all the information into my weeks and i'm keeping it in that and that's the updated list this is the twin of the Lilac Traveler's Notebook that keeps my weeks in it. And I got this one because, as I mentioned, it's my Unicorn Traveler's Notebook and perfect weeks cover. And so I just, I wanted to get both of them in case something ever happens to the Lilac one. Like if it wears out from overuse or something, then I would be so sad if I couldn't get another one. So, so I've got both colors. And apparently Gabby said that she's going to be coming out with two more colors in a few weeks, which I'm really excited about. I don't know what the colors are, but you can see it has these beautiful pockets on the inside, really nicely finished, beautiful elastic pen loop, elastic, same color as the notebook. It has this nice little metal detail here. I absolutely love it. So that is like definitely, this is one of my favorites, even though it's spare, I'm like kind of keeping this, you know, this is this is being kept in in the special unicorn section of uh, my planner shelves which i will show you in another video then we move on to the a5s so the first one is webster's pages this is technically labeled as standard size but as you'll see it actually fits a5 so this is a a moleskine just like a standard a large moleskine dot grid notebook Moleskines are technically not A5, they're a little bit narrower, so it, it's, I guess it's not actually literally A5, but it's very, very close. It will also fit the Moleskine cahiers in them, so it's like the, I think the, the May design slash Moleskine cahier large size it will fit, and you know, so, so the standard, it's close to A5 basically, I think of it as A5. So, and it will fit an A5 notebook if it's not too chunky. Uh, and this is one of my daily planners, which I'm not using at the moment. It's an, it's an undated notebook, which I use as a daily planner, but at the moment I'm using my Avec A6, the one that I showed you at the very beginning of this rather extensive video. So that's this one. This is a really nice one because it's very professional quality, which is something that I think is kind of difficult to find with vegan traveler's notebooks. Like they're, because most of the vegan options that you get for traveler's notebooks are fabric and the fabric ones as i'll show you in a minute i feel like they they're not as rugged that's at least just my feeling with them whereas this one is like because it's made by a planner company so you know it's like really good quality materials and there's nothing at all homemade about it not all of the ones that i showed you i feel like they're all excellent quality 
but it's just that there are not very many of those if you're looking for a vegan option. So that is Webster's Pages. And then I have two um, Lyra Dories from Lyra & Co, which is another Etsy shop. And again, I've, I've done reviews on these two, well, a review on both of them, if you want to know more about it. But they're fabric, they're really nice quality, very well finished. They don't have rough edges, which, which I personally prefer when they don't have rough edges. This is the My Little Pony one. Also, they have a pen loop on the inside, which is great. Two elastics and like kind of contrasting different colors on the inside and a very nice color elastic, which goes with the cover. That one doesn't have anything at the moment. This one, which is again, a Lyra Dory, just really, really nice, very well done. And this one has pockets on the inside. This I am using as a lesson plan for a summer course that I teach. And then we have a final one, final traveler's notebook. This is a cake dory, it's from Cake Papery on Etsy, which I have been told is no longer running. So I'm not sure about that because I, I bought these about a year ago, but I heard from someone more recently that, that she's not making them anymore. So I don't know if that if that is still the case or if they're back or not. But this one is also A5 size. And I really like these because the A5 size ones can be used as notebook covers. And because I don't really use traveler's notebooks with multiple inserts, like I said, I like being able to use them just as notebook covers because I have a ton of notebooks, as you have already seen. So this one doesn't have a pen loop, which is a shame. It's quite basic and then it doesn't have pockets. It doesn't have a pen loop, but it has a really nice design. Uh, it also has these frayed edges, which are not my favorite, but this was bought quite early on in my traveler's notebook journey and it was like kind of by far the nicest vegan option that I'd found at the time and I still really like it and it, it also has this uh, elastic which kind of matches one of the colors so I like that too okay so that's it for the traveler's notebooks and now believe it or not we are on to the final category which is disc bound so I am quite a recent convert to disc bound planners. It's only been about half a year since I got my first disc bound planner, which is this Levenger Circa notebook. And I'm just using this to store spare inserts in at the moment. But it, it was my introduction to the disc bound system and I was very pleasantly surprised by how much I liked it. So this has got metal discs and it's just a notebook. It's not really a planner. I, I guess I'm including it in here because it fits my criteria of being a planner cover that you can put inserts in. So this is an A5 or um, technically a half letter. I think they call it the junior size, but it's it fits A5 inserts. And the great thing about disbound planners is that just like ringbound planners, you can, you know, take pages in and out and move things around. And it's, it's really very, very customizable and flexible. So it doesn't come with a pen loop. This is a, a Loistrom pen loop, which I added. It's it's quite simple, but it's nice looking and can be used. You, you could put planner inserts in here if you wanted to, and it's a very nice durable cover. So that was my first one. Then I got a happy planner, which I don't have anymore. And then I found my unicorn disbound planners, which are the disc agendas from Doki Book. So I mentioned Doki Book before when we did the ring bound planners. Like this is Doki Book. And recently, a few months ago, they brought out this new line of discbound planners, which I think are just amazing. They're an incredible creation. And I have discussed them at great length in other videos. So if, you're, if you haven't heard of them before and you want to see them, um, just like search Disc Agenda or Doki Book on my channel and it will come up. So really, really beautiful. They come with inserts. I just could go on and on about how much I love these metal discs. And the thing that's really cool about them is that so this is like the disc bound part itself, which, which comes out and you could just carry around on its own. But they have this cover, which it's actually a notebook cover in that it doesn't have any rings. It, you know, like if, if you take this out, it's just, it's just a cover. So you could actually use this as a notebook cover for a bound planner or a spiral planner if it's the right size. But they've like kind of designed it to you know to put the 
disband planner in. So it's like a little bit bigger than A5 size. And I, I just think that's such a nice touch because it looks like a ring bound planner, which is a very nice look, but it's this bound on the inside. So I think that's really cool. And as you can see, I have three of them. <laughs> so they're all A5 size, although they're slightly bigger. Let's see. Just a tiny bit taller. If you can see, this is the Final Effects Domino. And so you can see that this disc agenda is just a little bit taller. Um, and maybe a tiny tiny bit wider but more yeah more or less the same but a little bit wider but they'll fit a5 planners so like for example they they will fit the a5 hobonichi there'd be a little bit of room at the top and the bottom but nothing that's too big of an issue and they're just so beautiful they have this really really nice inside so this one is the disc agenda manta which has got a different look to it it's black and white really cool like kind of gothic sort of inserts and again it just like kind of slides inside the cover which has got all of these great pockets that are really nicely finished and pen loop which is elastic and really stretchy and fabulous and this is the disc agenda diva which is the first one that they came out with and it's rose gold so it's metallic and this one, I actually, technically, this shouldn't be in the disband section because I have got a spiral planner in this. So this is my one and only spiral planner. And I was using this as a home planner until, well, until one book July. And I'm just keeping it in this and trying to decide whether to go back with it to it and what to do with it. But you can see this, this is actually a little bit bigger than A5 size. And it was kind of annoying because I couldn't fit it inside any of my A5 covers, but it fits perfectly inside the disc agenda. So that is it. That is my entire planner collection. I don't even know how many planners that is. I'm afraid to count them. All I know is that they take up one shelf and that is like my planner shelf. And I can't expand beyond that, <laughs> but I can fill the shelf. The whole shelf is for planners. So. Again, believe it or not, I have actually had more planners in the past that I've got rid of. So I've kind of got it down more or less just to the, my very favorites, like the ones that I'm using and the ones that I really love and don't want to get rid of because I think that I might use them again for something or, you know, they're expensive and I want to hold on to them. So I hope that you've enjoyed this window into the madness of planner addiction and that you aren't horrified by how many planners I have. I, I know it's a lot of planners, but I love planners. It's like my only hobby. So what can you do? So thank you so much for watching as always, and I will be back again soon. Bye.